hair is looking like after a week of having my hair straightened. As you guys can see, I gave myself a little bit of a trim because I really needed to get those ends off. Um, but now it's getting a little old and I need to do something with it. So I'm going to show you guys the quick style to get your hair a little bit of spruced up when you don't quite want to wash it just yet, but you still want to look decent and nice, you know? So I'm going to give you guys a nice little style. So obviously this is where my hair is at right now. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of uh, black castor oil because I love this stuff. And I'm going to take a little bit of it on my hands. Um, so I would say less than a dime size. Less than a dime size. It gets all uh, nice and in on my hands. And while I get that all in here, I'm going to get my wife to comb and comb through. out here's what my hair is looking like so this style is going to require me to use a flat iron my flat iron is already getting hot I got this little cheap no okay this was not cheap um this is an infinity pro con here now I bought this for about it was on sale for I think sixty dollars but this was years ago you guys so this flat iron is quite old and I couldn't even one but for now I'm putting it back I have my little thing of got to be glued. I will be into that for my edges. But let's go ahead and get started with the styling. So, for this style, I'm going to need to cut my hair. Um, I think I'm going to start from here. I'm just going to cut to the side. I'm just looking at. I think I want it to be like that. I think I want it to be like here. Right. So follow with me, you guys. I cannot see the back of my hair. But you know. Alright, so I'm going to take my ponytail, wrap up this side. Alright, so here is the little side I have here. I'm going to be braiding that. I'm going to take a little bit of this gun to the glue. Here's what it's looking like. Okay. So the next step is to start. Now, I do want to say that, hold on. 
All right, so I do want to say that to get this style, you do not need a flat iron if your hair is um, straight or even if your hair is um, still in its natural state, you do not need a flat iron. You can do bantu knots, you can do overnight curls, like um, a scarf curls. If you guys haven't seen my scarf curls video, I'm going to do a better updated one on that. But you guys can definitely get this, this curl or this look or whatever the case is without using a flat iron. I'm just using a flat iron because it's going to be quicker and I have somewhere to go. So, so here's the side view of the braid. And then the next step, once I get that done, is to start the curling process. So if you like if you're like me I love big bouncy curls I love my curls to be full and all that you know cute stuff so I'm going to <laughs> don't mind how I'm like doing my hair but put that to the side I'm gonna take put the back part and I'm just going to curl it so <coughs> I'll take it and I'm gonna curl it. I'm gonna hold it because it is held up by the body pin. So I'm gonna curl. Okay, I'm gonna take this side because I have one on this side. I'm gonna do the same except I'm gonna do it forward and this is how I'm going to get body you guys I'm going to, these curls are going to be all over the place they're going to be going forward they're going to be going backwards they're going to be going to the side and that's how I'm going to get that full look so again I'm just going to part a section doesn't matter how you part it just get it parted pull that through to the side I'm going to take some here that out and um, if you guys want to know I do have my setting on um, 20 now I don't know what heating set I don't know how many degrees that is it just says 20 which I'm guessing is a lower setting because the highest setting on here is 30 but um, yeah so it's on a 20 so again I'm going to take it and I'm going to curl this one forward just because Just because. So that one is forward. I'm just pretty much curling them whichever way I want to. I'm trying not to catch any of the hair I already did. So. Alright. So again, take that one. I'm just going to curl it forward, pull my hair up, and keep curling. There we go. As you guys can see, it's curled. Same to the other side. I'm going to curl this one the opposite direction. As you guys can see. So these curls are going to be just in different directions when I get to the front I will do it in one direction just so it can look uniform in the front part another section and guys I'm just going to keep doing this all the way up until I get to the front okay
the maintenance for this at night is pin curls. All you have to do is get bobby pins, take these, and just wrap them around your finger. Um, I'm not sure, but you guys can definitely look it up. But wrap it around your finger, bring it to your head, pin it up, and in the morning the curls will fall pretty much fall back down to where they were at. Sometimes they'll be even curlier than usual, then they'll fall during the day. But yes, you just pin curl these up at night, and this look will last. You can get the little jewelry for this. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you can put the little jewelry pieces on your braids, make it, you know, dazzle it up a little bit. So I put them pretty nice with this the look. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Guys, see you in the next video.